the Matterhorn, a symbol of Switzerland and the power of Mother Nature. For years, no one would attempt to climb it because of its menacing height and dangerous slopes. Kurt Lauber has climbed the Matterhorn no less than 400 times. It's estimated that 500 mountain climbers before him have died trying to tackle it. Still, he understands why mountaineers are so determined to conquer it. The Matterhorn is a tricky mountain. It can also be very dangerous. But when you see the mountain as an alpinist, you have to go up. It's like that for the famous mountains like Mount Everest or Mont Blanc. As a mountain pioneer, you have to climb them. The Matterhorn remained unclimbed after most of the other great alpine peaks had been attained. That history is documented here at the Matterhorn Museum in Sarmat. Visitors can learn everything about the first descent and life in the village during that time. Director Eddie Schmidt is an expert on the story involving the Matterhorn's first pioneer, Edward Wimper. Wimper's climb ended in disaster when four members of his team, including the French pioneer Michel Quo, fell to their deaths. Wimper wanted to be the first. He released himself from the rope to be the first to the top. It must have been a triumph in all his mountaineering career. On the way down, of these seven heroes, four would become tragic heroes. But the accident, which took place in fractions of a second, turned these heroes into dead men. And that was incredibly bitter. There's no denying the tragedy's lingering effect on Sermat. Many people come here to learn more about it. If you put two and two together, you'd probably have to assume that Wimper cut the rope that was around Michel Crow, but he never admitted it. That climb and disaster were later portrayed in several films, including The Mountain Calls, which can also be seen in the museum. The story also made its way into an animated version starring Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam. The big event of this festival day is the climbing of the Schmetterhorn for a prize of 50,000 crown kites. Zermatt, in the meantime, has developed into so much more than just a destination for mountain climbers. Its car-free environment and world-class ski trails attract tourists of every kind from all over the world. So what makes the Matterhorn so special? It's so special because of its shape. It has a very special form. As a well-known French mountaineer said, if a child has to draw a mountain, it will resemble the Matterhorn. The mountain even exists in chocolate form. Here at the Fuchs Bakery in Sermat, Philip Fuchs is busy making the signature chocolate Matterhorn. His family started the business in the 1960s. Now the second generation has taken over. Twenty-five years ago, my father came up with the idea to make a souvenir out of chocolate for our guests. And in Zermatt, it makes sense to make that souvenir the Matterhorn. Each piece is handmade, making it quite special, like the mountain itself. Record snowfall in Zermatt recently kept the Matterhorn out of sight for days, but even in bad weather, the draw to this mystical mountain carries on.